what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we talking about screen five again here today this is coming to us from viewer or non-viewer non is one of the trusted sources when it comes to inside information on upcoming releases i'll share a little bit more light on that later on in the video but viewer non responded to someone begging them to just give us anything on screen five because they're we're just yearning to have some food on the table i'll just say he responded with this response to the image that they shared a few weeks ago the reddish glow at the bottom of the ghost face mask is from a button he or she hits on his or her neck to be able to speak in roger jackson's voice to other characters this is also a very big scene in the movie so that right there that little explanation from viewer non is letting us know of one of the gadgets that we can expect ghostface to have in his arsenal this time around in his or her arsenal this time around i'll just start saying there having their arsenal this time around and now we know that in the past david arquette has kind of talked about this ghostface will have some new tricks up his sleeve i know i've made many other videos where i've talked about other people that have brought this up about the new film viewer anon is someone who's already seen the movie and he's relying he's replying to this individual who asked him to just or asked them rather to just share any information they can on screen five and without going into any real major spoilers they shed some light on potentially one of the gadgets that we could be seeing in screen five relates to ghostface now ditching the voice changer box that we are accustomed to seeing but now just having a simple button that they will be able to press on their neck to speak in Roger Jackson's voice to other characters. And that would explain that reddish glow at the bottom of the ghost face mask that I did see quite a few of you kind of speculating on. But this is the most likely answer because, again, viewer non has been right about other things in the past. The response that I have to that, what are my thoughts on it? I think that's a nice little updated approach as it relates to voice changers and ghostface speaking in roger jackson's voice in the in the movie's voice of course they'll just that'll just be, be regarded as the ghostface voice so the fact that we have that little update from the typical voice changer box to now just a simple button i think that could be a cool thing to see on screen how many times we see it though i think could be what makes the difference between something being cool to see and something being cartoony because i don't me personally, I would not want to see Ghostface pressing a button on his mask, his or her mask, and then have that red glow or red tint, reddish glow at the bottom of the mask, like maybe in multiple scenes, maybe once during the final reveal, maybe twice even, but I wouldn't want to see this a lot during the film, and I don't think that's what will happen. I'm just giving my perspective on it. I, I would hate to see that just because... You know, I feel like if you show it too much, it does start to become a little bit cartoony. We in the past have never seen Ghostface always on the phone using his voice changer. We've just had the person on the phone and Ghostface on the other end of the phone talking in Roger L. Jackson's voice. And then, of course, we would see at the very end, right towards the reveal, some of them would pull out their voice changers like Roman, not Roman, but uh, like what Stu did, like what Mickey did they would pull out their voice changers so hopefully that's the same thing that'll happen as it relates to us seeing that reddish glow i think that would be a very cool scene to have unfold where we get to the final stage or in the final act ghostface is about to reveal themselves and before revealing themselves they press a little button to show us how they've been talking like roger l jackson and talking as that voice that many of us find so iconic since the beginning of this film we'll see that they haven't been using the traditional voice box that we're accustomed to using but we'll be seeing this little button press that they just do now again we could see this done throughout the film but minus the reddish glow we could see it done throughout the film and the, the filmmakers could just hide the reddish glow until the final stages of the movie to kind of give us a bigger picture of what was going on with that button press that could be shown numerous times throughout the movie i think this is a decent little update and change of pace or change of scenery for the whole voice changer dynamic i really do think this could be done well on screen if of course it's not something that's overly exposed and just come comes across very cartoony but i guess you guys can let me know what you think about this new piece of technology one of the new gadgets that ghostface will have because again people have talked about the killer having new gadgets and new tricks up his his or her sleeve this time around the other thing viewer non did respond to someone with was in relation to the runtime of the film they said it was longer than screen one and screen two or screen one and screen four rather but shorter than screen three and screen four so that would tell me that this movie is most likely going to be either 115 minutes 160 minutes anything less than 117 and 120 because i think scream 
Scream 2 clocks in at 120, and I think Scream 3 clocks in at 117. I might be mistaken or have the movies mixed up. But if it's l l shorter than, or if it's longer rather than Scream 1 and Scream 4, but less than shorter than 2 and 3, then that means that this movie most likely will clock in at a little above 110, maybe at 110 on the dot. It has to go above 111, I would imagine, just because, again, I, I believe Scream 4 is 111 minutes just like the original scream is 111 minutes again i could be mistaken so we that gives us plenty of time to get to know the characters spend time with them catch up with sydney dewey and gail learn what their lives have been like since the last 10 years since the original since screen four rather and just get to know who we're dealing with now get to spend time with the characters hopefully grow attached to them and care about their survival get to know the carpenter sisters understand how they're factoring into this new ghost face killing spree so that runtime is a decent enough runtime in and of its own i know a lot of us were thinking this would be the longest entry in the franchise these type of comments like this i do just want to also add that they did say that they were looking at a cut that didn't have the music finalized so maybe the cut that we get is something completely different but maybe a little bit more additional footage or something who knows but this is enough time for us to get to know the characters spend time with them grow attached to them care about their survival catch up with our legacy characters watch ghostface do his thing and hopefully enough time for uh our directors to completely blow us away with their incarnation of what a ghostface film or a screen film rather looks like without Wes craven and give it their own unique spin so i know you guys are looking forward to this film we also have the upcoming 25th anniversary re-release in october where many of us believe that the film will showcase the first look at screen five and then that'll play along halloween kills which releases during that same week of the re-release of the original screaming theaters for like a for the two night fathom event that's coming in october so viewer non also did comment and say as of right now that looks like the most likely date for us to get the trailer during the week of halloween kills release so it can play alongside it in theaters which many of you would argue we've already known that before but again viewer non is a trusted source he's spilled a lot of things in the past from other big movies coming out but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and that makes the video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.